guys welcome back to star soaps channel tonight I'm going to make salt soap that's right I'm going to use teachers recipe I'm going to copy her video and if you haven't seen her video you're in for a treat I'll leave the link below I'm going to do it exactly how she did it and I'm going to make some salt bars my first ever salt bars I'm going to use Himalayan sea salt and activated charcoal and kale and clay mostly coconut oil for my oil and it's going to be great so come along with me and we'll make some salt soap Thank you so much, honey, you're the best. I love you. Interesting. The soap was a lot thinner than I was intending or thinking it was going to be, but that was cool. That meant I could relax and get out the kaolin clay, which I hadn't gotten out and I was just going to use titanium dioxide, but I got out the kaolin clay so I could copy teach exactly. And I have, I've got exactly the way she's done it, my salt and pepper bars with, with activated charcoal in the black and kaolin clay in the white, made two teachers exact recipe as well, which is cool.
ended up with two molds full. So teacher's mold must have been larger than what I thought it was. That's the great thing about the internet and videos and stuff. You have no idea what size you're actually looking at because there's nothing to scale it by. I thought teacher was using little squares like these, but she must have had bigger squares. So I've managed to fill all of these bar molds as well as these. So I got quite a few. I'm pretty happy with that. My salt and pepper bars. Hi guys, welcome back. It's day two on the salt bar mission and they are ready to be unmolded. I left them overnight because it was very late last night. But um, I came out and checked them and I did unmold just this one here, which as you can see I had a little thing in the back and I'll show you how I did that. And it's gorgeous, it's just very very small, just a little tiny soap. Um, a lovely little salt bar. I think it's turned out really well and I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and unmold some more of them now. I sort of don't know which way around to put them. <laughs> which side should we show off? So just all I'm doing to unmold these is just loosening them from all the corners and edges first. Like that. And then gently, gently, gently pressing up from the bottom. And then you can see the um, silicone in the back there that makes that little pattern that you saw on the other one. And I just gently peel that away. <laughs> Voila! This looks really cool. What ended up happening is I ended up buying the wrong shape so thing for this, for my log, of this, for my log mould. <laughs> so I cut it up to put it inside the little tiny cube mould so I could still use it. We'll turn that one around that way so you can see what that side of it looks like. Okay, and so there's only one more of them that actually has the silicone on the back and the rest are just plain squares and that's this one and the only thing I don't like about it is how it's affected the shape of the bar so it's not a square bar really anymore but oh well <laughs> so there's those ones so these are just nice squares. Wow, that looks cool. Mm, the eucalyptus and peppermint smells really good as well. much happier with these ones that don't have the silicone on the bottom simply because they're just that bit bigger so they just seem that little bit more substantial and everyone that I've talked to about salt bars has said that if you make little ones it's not it's okay it's all good because you can um they'll last and last they have a long long life expectancy you can expect them to last a long time so even if they're small but those ones with the pretty backs in my opinion are just a little bit too small but they can, I don't know, they're just a good example of how that worked. I'm really happy with that. And I love how these ones are. They're just so nice. They're like pieces of marble almost. Gorgeous. Okay, onto the larger sized bars now. <laughs> Pretty easy to unmold actually happy about that. I think that one looks really pretty. So pretty. It's a bit of a mess everywhere but you'll get that on the big jobs. That's another one. Wow they're crazy. Crazy different soap. Oh cool. I was really interested to see if the zigzag had turned out on both sides, and it has, so that's cool. 
it's obviously a bit different <laughs> on that side. That looks so cool. I like my salt soap. And there's the roundy roundy swirl, like Teach did on most of hers. She also did the back and forth one as well. I tried to honour her technique and her recipe. And this last one was just black because I didn't have any white left, so it's just a black bar, black salt. So cool.